Hi guys, I'm Refashioned Hippie and I'm here today to talk to you about Poshmark silent shows and why you should be doing them. Now, you guys might remember I did a video a couple weeks ago where I said they were not really my cup of tea and I probably wouldn't be doing them, but like Mike Wazowski did to Dean Hardscrabble, you have changed my mind. Now I know you're thinking that's like a super old Disney reference, but when I'm not reselling, I'm a full-time mom, so pretty much all I have is old Disney movies. But let's talk today about silent shows and why you should be doing them. The first half of this video is going to be about how to actually physically put together a show. I'm gonna do it step by step. It'll be right here for you guys. So if you already know how to do that, skip on to about halfway through. But first, let's get started with that. So first thing you have to do, obviously, is open your Poshmark. I'm gonna put it all up here. Um, Go into your profile at the very bottom right there. It's going to say My Posh Shows, so select that. I already have two scheduled, as you guys can see. I like to schedule shows as far out as I can so that I always have something that people can bookmark. Go into Create. So the first thing that you have to do is add a cover shot. I like to just keep a couple of these in my photo reel. Um, you can create really professionally looking, really professional looking ones on Canva for free. So go into there and I'm going to go into my photos, take this one. This is one that I used right off of Canva. So $5 flash sale, add it in, create your title. And I'm going to once again, just say $5 flash sale. This can be whatever you want it to be. Um, I like to do, for silent shows, I like to just do some really quick things. So I don't add anything new into the closet. I just use existing listings. So I'm going to say that this one is women's active wear. Let's just call it that. Start time. This isn't a real one. So we'll just say right now, um, 30 minutes, usually fine. So here, when you select the show type, you can do live show or silent show. It is important because if you start a live show, you cannot switch to silent and vice versa. So select silent show and hit schedule. And that's all it takes to schedule your show. So once you have scheduled your show, Poshmark will open that right up for you. Um, so if I wanted to start the show right now, you can just hit start show, but we don't have any listings in there. So we're going to add those in. So go to add listings and it's going to pull up two options at the bottom of the screen for you. One is quick list an item, and the other is add listing from your closet. When I'm doing a silent show, I don't like to do any quick listed items because when you quick list an item, it won't have any photos attached. It will literally just have a name and then type. So jeans, size two, that's it. So whenever I do a silent show, I always add in listings that pre-exist in my closet. So I'm going to choose the bottom option, which is add listing from your closet. And because we're doing active wear, I'm going to go to the little funnel thing, brand, and let's look for all of my Nike stuff. So here we can add in all of the women's Nike wear. You just select it. It will tell you the amount of listings you have selected up at the top. You can only add up to 50 listings in every show. So I'm going to hit done it will add those into the show and now it pulls up the listing of all of the listings that are currently in your show and like I said you can have up to 50 listings at a time um, just so that you can see how this works I'm going to start my show and the first notification that pops up is confirming that this is a silent show so it's just a quick reminder to you that the camera is off and the audio is off so I'm gonna say got it and then it physically starts your live show. Now up in the right hand corner, it's going to show that you're live. Right below that, it will show the amount of people that are actually watching your show. It will always say one because it counts you as someone who's watching the show. If you want to start a listing for sale, you go to the bottom left. It will display all of the pieces that you currently have listed for sale. I'm just gonna start this first one, this Nike Blue Racer. Sorry, that's my cats running around in the background. Um, it will start just flashing through all of the different pictures that you have. So go to auction item, set your price, which for me for this whole show is $5. And then you can choose the auction duration. It will naturally select 30 seconds for you. 
you could also choose yourself 45 or 60 seconds. I'm gonna leave it at the 30 seconds and just hit start auction. So once we've done that, it's going to count down 26, 25, 20 seconds, whatever. If somebody were to bid on this piece for $5, it will add 10 seconds so that it gives the opportunity for anyone else to come in and also bid. So auctions will go on for as long as they have to. If something keeps getting bid up, 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 it could go on until somebody just stops bidding and somebody wins the piece. Now I'm gonna stop the show because I don't want to sell any of this stuff, um, but it is just that easy to put a show together. When you are completely finished with your show, you have to make sure that the timer is not running. It won't let you end a show while the timer's running. When you're completely done, you just hit the X button in the top left-hand screen. It's gonna pull up these little options that say end show or send poshers to another show. So this is a way you could help a friend if you wanted to suggest that all of your the people watching the show go to a friend's show, you can select the bottom option. I'm just gonna say end show. It will ask you to confirm, yes, I want to be completely done with this show. You hit yes, and it finishes your show. The screen fades to black. So that is how you set up and run a Poshmark silent show. Now, why should you do them? That is part two of this video. Um, a silent show is something that I was not initially attracted to. I didn't think, I'm oh, sorry, my cats are being crazy. Um, I didn't think a Poshmark silent show was really for me because what I enjoy about doing Poshmark shows is my personality. I think that people are more attentive to someone who's talking to them, who's giving you the history of each item. And silent shows just really don't give you that ability. For me, they're not really interesting to attend, but I've learned to change my mind about that because what I love to do is set up a silent show on say all of my jeans or all of my size small tops, whatever it is, because I have a lot of old inventory that's just been sitting for a long time. And for me, it's valuable to just move those pieces out. So what I've started to do is I'll set up a silent show while I am cleaning because every 30 seconds I'll come back to my phone, select a new listing and let it run. And then I have 30 seconds to pick up all of the dishes in this room. I'll start a new option and then that gives me 30 seconds to fold this blanket. It's a great thing to do while I'm doing something like um, folding all of my laundry because I get to fold my laundry, I get to watch TV while I'm doing it, and I can run this sale while all of that's happening because it's not something that requires a lot of my attention. And honestly, I haven't made a lot of money from doing silent shows. For me, the real value is it's another opportunity to show customers my closet, to put myself out there in front of customers because every time you start a show, whether it's live or silent, Poshmark will push it and all of your followers will get a notification that you have a show running right now. So for me, that's the real value of doing a show is it gives you the opportunity to just remind people, hey, I'm right here, I'm right here. Because you know, there's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people on Poshmark. So the opportunity to just remind people, hey, look at me, look at my stuff is really great. Plus, like I said, I get most of my inventory for free. So getting to push out old inventory is great. Um, while I'm running a silent show, I find I get a lot more interest in my closet, I get a lot more followers, and I do make sales occasionally. Um, the shows that I run price options really, really low. For me, I like doing five to eight dollar flash sales. Um, so somebody who wants to get a completely new wardrobe and not spend a lot of money, it's a really good option to come to one of my like business time shows where I have Banana Republic tops and Ann Taylor skirts and blazers because you can build a lot of really good stuff. You can build a bundle for a really low price. Um, and if somebody likes the stuff that I have, they're much more likely to follow my closet and come to my live shows and then I get to interact with them more. So I have to say when I am waiting for the dentist, when I am in line at the bank, when I'm folding my laundry, when I'm cleaning my house, I like to put together live shows. They're very fast to put together. 
they use existing listings and I do stand a much better chance of getting attention and making sales. So I have to admit, I think I was wrong about silent shows. I do silent shows probably four or five times a week now because they're really, really easy to put together. They basically require no more work than just loading in all of my stuff and letting it go. When I do a live show, it's at least an hour of work, at least, like minimum an hour of work outside of actually running the show, which takes a lot of energy. I mean, it does take a lot of energy to do those shows. So I would say, even if you're not interested in doing live sales, if you're not interested in being on camera and being really perky and selling your stuff, I would really strongly recommend try some silent shows. Even if you don't sell anything, it gets you attention, which is good. Um, so once again, just, I was wrong. I definitely think I was wrong. If you have not applied to be a Poshmark live or silent show person yet, please do that. It's really easy. You just go on to Poshmark's website, their blog. You go on Poshmark's blog, apply there. The selection process is not really involved. The only thing they want to make sure is that you're a serious seller. So you have to show them like, yes, I, I do have a Poshmark closet. Yes, I'm an active user. You'll most likely get approved. Um, and then, like I said, set up some silent shows. If you're not ready for the live one, set up some silent ones, get, get some under your belt. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions, but I'm going to keep doing silent shows. I think they're a great option for if you have some time on your hands, you want to showcase some of your items and maybe make some sales. I, it's, it's fun to be proved wrong sometimes. I think I definitely was. Um, so thank you guys for coming. Let me know if you have any questions at all. You can always hit me uh, in the comment section or at Refashioned his, his <sighs> Y'all, it's been a day. Refashioned Hippie on Instagram. Let me know. I'm here for you guys. Let me know what kind of content you want to see. Thanks, guys.